Water working hours. <laughs> so, okay, in port, uh, I, I just use myself as an example. In port, I'm here at 4.30 in the morning, right? Uh, so... Not required. Not required, but <laughs> I expect my CSs have to be in the gala at 4.30. That's, that's when they have to uh, start the meal prep, right? Because we have breakfast at 6. Uh, so if I expect my CSs to be there at that time, I show up at that time, you know, just to make sure uh, they see the leadership is, is willing and able to do this, so why can't I do it, right? So that perception of knowing that I care pushes my guys to want to do better. So I'm here at 4.30, and pretty much the end of the day, typically, like on a really busy day, it'll be about 1,600, if that. Uh, but on a more chill day, like uh, we don't have much going on, uh, I'll probably be about 1,400, 1,430, we're out of here. So. I get here. So we just went through NSERV. So we just went through NSERV. So I had like a personal, I'm not getting here super early anymore because if I'm staying till 18, 1900 every day, yes. and I'm getting here as late as possible. So the, that liberty expiration. But I, I would say generally, I would say like 6 o'clock, um, you plan out your day. You don't want any surprises right off the rip and then just chasing your tail and, you know, figuring things out. Uh, so you, you print out the plan of the day. Um, so 6 o'clock and then... Everyone goes. I, I try and get my guys out around 15:30. Um, I don't like them doing busy work or anything. So I'm, you know, I'm like, Chief, are they are they doing anything? Anyway, but 15:30, and then whenever I let them go, Chief and I will go and do a rundown of what's going to happen the next day. So I'll stay an extra 20 minutes or so. But uh, on the way, you're working hours is from when you wake up to when you hit your rack. There's nothing like a, oh, I'm going to go chill time. It doesn't exist. Because you know you have mid rats for S2, so you you're always working. It's like from start of the day to the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Underway is different. Underway. There's a lot a lot of more prep goes into it. So Under, underway you have, and it's all I believe in one team one fight for sure. So um, ship store operator has we have clamped down, clean the ship from 7:30 to 8:30. Ship store opens from 8:30 till lunch, it opens again after lunch till dinner. And it was up after dinner until 20 hundred. And then we got to do breakouts, fill the vending machines. So and it, it's not, underway is, is bad for S3. <laughs> it's brutal. It's bad. It's, it's, I won't Especially say it's bad, man. but it's just like a lot hectic. Like a lot goes into it. But once, uh, as time goes on, you build your routine. So it's, it's like, you don't even feel it. It's just, it's just the same routine every day. And you just kind of get into that. So underway is not, it's not that bad, but you know, long days. I like underways. What do you like about them? That routine, I think um, you get more work done. I think, yeah. yeah. You can't go home. <laughs> <laughs> so you literally at home, you know, you're like, you know what, I get this done tomorrow. No, you're there. No, you're you going to do it just it. now. So I think that aspect of it is like, okay, since I'm here, I might as well. You get more sleep because, you know, getting home. So if I leave work, and this is just for the Norfolk area, if I leave work at 4 o'clock, which is pretty, pretty, uh, Standard, you gotta fight the traffic for an hour, or so you get to you get home by 5:30, and then you, know, you stay up for a few hours, and then you gotta go wake up early and, do and it come all back again. and do it all again. So. Or you stay up late and you don't get any sleep, and you just prefer to be have duty, so you gotta get some sleep. Duty days, Duty days, important. All right, so if you're going um small deck, I guess, even uh, carriers and whatnot. What would you import? You got to get called. So depending on what what you have, right? So once you, however, what you got to do, you got to be here early, making sure you're here for turnover. Um, but these days are long. So I, we both duty supply on our duty days. So there's a lot of like hazmat, um, a lot of S2 stuff going on. It's balancing like, okay, my job as a divo and also my responsibilities to the ship as the duty supply uh, officer on board. So it's, it, it can be demanding, but you know, once you like get used to it, uh, it's just routine. It's not bad, it's but not, not bad at all. they always call supply. Always. Every duty day, I don't know what it is, something different, something always. you've never done before. Suppo probably knows the answer, but he's not trying to bother Suppo. Suppo yeah, uh, so you just gotta make, just figure it out. make things up as you go along. And I like that, that's the best part. I really do like the problem solving.
So you don't want to bother yourself up. Why not? No. Heck no. So I bother a lot on this plate, man. You know, just running for S1 and dealing with engineering, that is just tasking in itself. So we, we're here to take the problems away, yeah. not add to it. So we have to make sure someone can come to us with tasks. Like, look, task is, hey, episode this goal. I need this done. And we just, done. we don't ask how. We just say, all right, sir. And we move on and make it happen. Mm -hmm. And we come check him and say, hey, this has been knocked out. There you go, sir. And then he's like, all right, cool. If he's cool with it, give it a thumbs up. If not, we do it again. So that's kind of how it works. Yeah. Sometimes y'all mess stuff up. Well, always. Always. <laughs> always. That's the best way to learn. That's the best way. It's like, it's like I didn't, it was like, so many errors. Well, you know, it's like, all right, sir, do it, do it again. And, you know, and that's how you learn, especially with being like a young ensign in, like in the Navy. It's, it will make mistakes, but. It is just uh, being able to learn from these mistakes. Is there a right, right way to mess up and a wrong way to mess up? Yeah, a wrong way to mess up is just not trying at all. It's like, you know, some would delegate something to me, and I just pass it on to a junior sailor and without any oversight, right? Then without even checking back at it, I give it back to Suppo. So at this time, I'm not communicating exactly what he wants done, and we've lost oversight. So right now, it makes Suppo look bad, and we just wasted that time. So. A big piece of it is communication, right? So once you're communicating with SUPPO, and if you have to delegate it, do that. But just make sure they have the right guidance in getting the job done. So. Yeah, just, yeah communication, keep everyone in the loop. You're not, learn you're not correcting the deficiency if you're giving it to someone else and just pass it on. So you're not, you're not learning from it. And this is, all, this is just a learning tour, you know. You don't know anything, and by the time we're done with it. You still don't know anything. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Qualified lifestyle versus unqualified lifestyle. Is it different? Similar? Same? Whatever? What's your life? Is it Swiss go? Yeah. Oh, it's next week. It's coming. It's happening. But yeah, I take a lot of steak from the people just because I'm the food service officer. A lot of people are going to, you know, try and bully you, per se, into like strong arm you, I guess, for choice of a better word, uh, into giving in. Like, hey, why don't we have ice cream socials? Why don't we have this? Why don't we have that? So it's your job to take this gripe away from your personnel, right? That's why I'm here. So if I, if I have 57% manning, the publication states we can't, we, sh we should close down the wardroom line. But I'm not gonna do that. However, I can make cutbacks. We don't have to have X to order in the morning. And we can still maintain that line and just put an FSA out there. So it's your job to kind of take that attention from your personnel so they don't feel that burden. And however, it's try and keep the crew, the wardroom happy. So that has been a major thing coming in is like, I how do I take all of this attention from my people and take the hit of it? And, you know, just being there for them. Shoot. Okay, qualified. I don't think it's that big of a difference, but for, it is. they love to gripe about FSO all the time, you know, for whatever, you know, something different every day. But if you're qualified, you don't need them anymore. <laughs> so. Exactly. You're like, <laughs> well, I'm qualified now. I'm just waiting my time pretty much. Yes. So that's the thing is like I need those PQS signed off. Yeah, he's so like, I got so I got to play nice and you know they like smile. Need, need ice cream and you're like how much? Ice? <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> it's 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 painful, but it's it'll be worth it. I'll let you know in a week, I guess. Is it is it kind of cool to learn some of the stuff about the ship though, and, and does that help you do the job better? Yeah, I thought it was cool. Um, going to briefs, you're not just sitting there, you know being there instead you, you get some essay on what what's going on um, so for me I have mixed feelings for this one yes just from a knowledge perspective because you don't want to be the one in the room you're in the breach without no knowledge of what's going on uh, because at the end of the day you're a naval officer first before you're a supply officer uh, but on the other hand as a supply officer uh, you still strategic an officer and you have your own job you have to do and that sometimes can take away uh, from you, you can take that away from you as a young officer, you know, especially that learning curve. If you don't have a strong team behind you, it's a lot harder to uh, be on the bridge, stand and watch, and you know, people still yelling at you that your job is not getting done because you don't have that, you know, time to balance both of them. So it, it can it can be hectic uh, coming in, but again, you only get better with time. But starting out, it, it's it is difficult because starting out, all you want to do is, hey, I need to learn my job. I need to be good at my job so I can, you know, better serve the crew and the people. So there's a balance. Supply is very important. However, it is very important to be a naval officer. It is.